Oh no, you know what it is. She's wearing it on, she's exactly on top. Guys got so much notes. So took now I made like three pages of love and hip hop and black ink. So let's get into it. Oh, I know this is gonna be a long ass video, but y'all bear with me. So let's get into these um to these love and hip hop hoes and shit. So okay. So Princess is packing. She you know packing her her stuff up from Ray J's house. She she she's flying away or whatever she's doing. You know, and she's like I'm tired. I want to do me. He gonna do him. So, so I was like, okay, girl, okay, but, but y'all, y'all saw, um, you heard that, um, I ain't gonna say, but Princess on the red carpet of, um, the Hip Hop Awards on the red carpet, and shout out to, um, Candy from Sweet Dishes TV, um, she was saying, um, I guess she was asking, are you and, and um, Ray J still together? And she's like, oh, we ain't in, in, engaged. Okay, girl. Okay, girl. That's what you said now. I'm not, I'm not. That's what you said, girl. Okay. Girl, bye. Okay, moving on along. Okay. So, Miles is doing a, um, a, a rap video shoot at some kind of park, whatever. And he's rapping his butt off and everything. And he is just missing my line. And he been calling him and all this going on. And he's not answering the phone. And I'm like, oh, Milan, you missing. Uh, I said, oh, I'm, oh, excuse me, I'm missing people's names up. Oh, uh, um, Miles, you missing uh, Mr. Milan, you missing your boo. Okay, oh. Uh, so he calls Amber um, to go to canceling together. So, they can, so he can tell her that, hey, listen. You know, I haven't been honest with you. I haven't been there for you. Listen, I'm gay. I'm in another relationship with another man. You know, are we still going to be cool? So he, it's hard for him to tell Amber that. So they start to go to this counseling thing. Okay. And, and, and y'all, I miss it. Was uh, Milan was at the park too? I, I, didn't, I didn't see it. Well, I saw it, but I didn't pay attention because I was taking a whole lot of uh, notes down. So I couldn't miss anything because I didn't feel like we watching the shit again. Uh, you know, okay. So, okay, moving on along. Um, Amber sits down with her sister and see what's going on between him and Miles. What they, where they at now, whatever. And her sister was like, listen, you don't know what's going on with Miles as you can see it. And um, Amber's like, listen, I love Miles. That's my love. I, I, I love him too dearly. Like, he loves me too. But he been like... All this going on, I'm like, girl, Amber, girl, you in a fairy tale world, okay? You you think you in love. You think you in love, girl. But, girl, Miles saying a whole nother story on the other end, okay, girl? Girl, I need you to wake up, smell the roses, smell the flowers, smell the daisies, and, and smell the, the pine from the trees because Miles do not want what you want. Okay, girl. So, girl, I need you to, you know, I, 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 like, you don't know what's going on, girl. You, you don't know that he's in an, another relationship with an, a man and he's living two different lives with you, girl. Okay, girl. Bye, girl. I need you to wake up. I need you to smell the fresh air, okay? Because, girl, you're dreaming, okay? But we moving on along. Okay. So, um, Brandy, the crazy ass chick with, um, uh, Mike. So, um, it was, it's Mike and, um, Miss Nika Baby, okay? Plastic Ho, okay? So, they meet up with, um, Jason Lee, the one, I do not like, y'all, let me tell you something. I do not like, uh, bitchy ass Jason Lee. Why? Because he's a bitch, and he, that was a foul move that don't drink on, um, Hazel. That was a bitch move. Right there. He was very disrespectful. But I already said on my last video when he did that to Hazel. Uh, I'm not going to repeat that again. Move forward. Anywho. So he comes in with um, Fizz girl. Used to be girl. But you know now Nika and, and, and Fizz are together. So they come in. I don't know why they why she's there. I guess she wants to repair the relationship between her and um, Nikki Baby, classic Nikki Baby. Girl, I don't know why there was the need for you to be there. I mean, she ain't, she don't liking what you did was uh, like 
she deserve it. So I don't know why you trying to run behind her, but trying to be friends. Like, girl, bye. Get somewhere, Miss. Um, look like Jordan Sparks, girl. Like, get somewhere. So, y'all, do y'all hear Brandy said to Jason? What did she say? I wrote it down too. SpongeBob on steroids. That shit was so freaking funny. Brandy, you are so hilarious. You are. I just love you, but girl, you're crazy as hell. You look like SpongeBob on steroids. Y'all heard what she said. I, I know it was just not me. I, girl, that was funny. And then Jason Lee, like, well, you need to shut your little um, Shirawa up. I'm like, ooh, Jason, that was another bitch movie you did. So, so now you find with bitches? Okay, we can clearly see how how you is, okay? You just showed your whole true colors around the world, okay? And a whole, and, and, the, and it's a rainbow in the sky for you. Y'all, I'm not I'm trying not to lose my voice. So, Jason, you just a dumbass B, okay? I'm not trying to say, I'm not trying to say no cuss words, but you just a dumbass B, okay? Y'all know what B and B I T C H. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. But Jason Lee, you 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 like to fight with people, don't you? Okay. Get somewhere. I do not like Jason Lee. You're not even um certified like um um Justin from um Justin J. You're not even certified. So, you acting like you like the biggest thing in the whole damn universe. I never heard, I never, ever, 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 never heard of you before. I, I haven't, okay? You haven't. Like, I have not heard about no Jason Lee. And you, you have not been on TV besides love and hip-hop. And I don't know why Mona got you on this shit. Like, ain't nobody gonna check, ain't nobody checking for Miss, um, Miss Jason, y'all. Ain't nobody gonna check for his ass. Like, for real. Moving on along. So, okay. So, Miles going to church. He's, he's reading his guy's Bible. You know, he's studying the scriptures and everything. What he should do. How he gonna tell Amber. And, and how he gonna work all this out. And how he gonna tell his family. And he just praying to the Lord that you can't. I know I'm gay. That can you forgive me? And... And, and how I'm going to work this out, Lord. Lord, give me a sign. Give me something. You know, I cannot be, do this by myself. He just, in the church, just preaching and reading his Bible, studying the Bible, and all that going on. I'm like, Miles, work that shit out. Pray to the Lord, because the Lord has not left you yet, okay? The Lord still loves you. Either you're black, white, bi, gay, whatever you are. Well, he, he, we clean see he's gay but he's still gonna be with you along the way you know you just gotta keep going to church you know pray every day and listen i pray every day okay because prayer works for the gods okay prayer works in many ways okay y'all i'm telling you i gotta pray every night every day every hour okay i'm just saying i'm just saying let's keep it real you gotta pray if you don't pray shit is gonna go downhill but if you pray Things is going to be looking all right for your behalf. Just, just give me a little note, a keynote, because I pray every day, okay? I'm going to church every Sunday. I'm in the choir every Sunday. I sing every day. I sing, well, not every day, every Sunday. I sing to the gods, okay? And I cannot lose my voice, okay? Well, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, moving on. I'm just mambling. Okay, so, Miles, everybody knows you. you Try this on here, okay? Everybody knows you there. Okay, move on. Okay, so we go on to Princess meets up with Tara Marie, TT. And Princess, she's upset that Tara Marie is set her, that she set her up and, and all this going on. And she's mad that, um, blaming Tara, uh, Tara Marie that Ray broke, made her, broke up with her and all this going on and all that crap and shit. So she meets up with, um, with her and and she brings the girls or whatever to bring her back up or whatever. So you know, Tim Tim Marie's like, yeah, I did do that. I did, I did, I did. And you know, I had to say, I'm on Tiara's side. I am. I am on Tiara's side. She kept it cool. She kept it collective. She wasn't, you know, like she always fighting like her guard up or anything. Princess had her guard up when she was first there. Okay, when she was first there, she had her guard up. 
okay? She was ready to fight um, Tia Marie, okay? So, you know, she kept it cool and she kept it real. Like, listen, yes, I did play you and I did text Ray about going to um, Vegas, all that going on. So, T uh, Princess got mad and uh, I guess throw a punch at her. I guess she missed or not, but I don't think Princess... I don't think she presses hit her. I mean, she probably hit, like, to the, to the chest or whatever. But it wasn't that serious. Tara moved back. You know, she wasn't hurt or anything. Security got the girls and all that going on. And then they sit down or whatever. Princess still wants some more. She's trying to fight and going on. And um, Princess crying and going on and blah, 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 blah. And and y'all y'all saw all the girls is like, around um, around Tara, um, Tara Marie. I'm like, so, Princess, nobody is going to be on your side? Like, do y'all saw that? Everybody was on, like, all the girls. Um, Nia, um, all of them was, like, right next to Tierra Marie. No, I was like, who's going to get Princess back? Y'all, you can tell that nobody likes Princess, Okay. Princess, I need you to find out who your real friends are, who's got your back, because I I, I don't see no one is. I, I don't see no one got your back. Like, I need you to rethink your friends again, I'm just saying. But, Tia Marie wins, and Princess was trying to fight Tia Marie, but she missed, and the security guys got her ass. And, you know, Princess, you just, you just lost this battle. I'm sorry, boo-boo. You just lost this battle, honey. You know, I mean, you you you, you just lost, honey. I, I don't know what to say for your ass. I really don't. Like, girl, try again, you know, get back and try again. I don't know. But, girl, I don't like you. You, you to me, you just do a lot. You just do too much for me. I'm just saying, y'all, that's my opinion. I don't know. I just don't like her. I like Tara Marie. I like her to, to, to the gods. I really, I really do. But moving forward. Move on, on. Really, really, really from day 26. Willie's in the studio. He's singing to the gods and everything. And I really love the song. I really do. Loved it, loved it, loved it. And, you know, he's trying to get back on his grind and everything. He's trying to get into a new um a label and all that going on. He's trying to get out of another label that he cannot get out of. So he meets up with the, um, I forgot the dude's name, I'm sure to work down, um, the white guy. And he tells him, listen, I need to do this now. I got bills to pay. My shit, they, they gonna cut my shit off. You know, I gotta make this shit happen. You know, I got a kid, blah, 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 do. And the guy, um, I guess the, the, um, the, I guess the manager, whoever the white dude is, y'all know what I'm talking about. He's like, well, What's going on with you in the other contract? You know, you can you get that out so you can be with us because you cannot do two at the same time. And with uh, Willie's like, listen, I got this going on. Bop, 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 do they say this? They say that. I cannot go blow, blow, blow. And the white guy's like, listen, you did not tell me that. You did not tell me that. You didn't. I did not know that. I did not know that you was in that deep in that deep deep situation. Well, now I don't know. I don't know if we can do that because you stuck on this label that you could not get out of. So now you in this situation that you never can get out, you know, until your contract is up. You and Willie, why did you not read the contract? You see, this is why we need to always, when we sign something, we always need to read before we sign, okay? Because when we sign, you will never take that back. You'll be in hell or hell, and you in the contract, and you cannot get out of. You might be paying a whole lot of money. They might be taking money out of your account while even noticing. They might kick your ass out. Whatever. Really, I, really I, I'm rooting for you. You my boy. I love you to pieces. I'm just rooting for you, okay? I'm rooting for um, really, y'all. Really, I have faith in you. you going to make it, okay? Everybody seem like they love your song. I love your song. Everybody loves you. I just need you to, you know, I want you to do better. And I need you to pay these bills, okay? So your wife, whatever, if it's your wife or girlfriend or whoever it is, but maybe wife, whatever, to stop, you know, 
for her to stop stressing over these bills and stop, you know, and all this going on. You know, I need you really, I need you to, for you to work that shit out. I really need you to do that. Okay, moving on along, you know, this is going to be a long ass video. Miles, Miles seeing a the therapist. He's crying and going on. I'm like, oh my God, Miles is crying. He don't know what to do. He's lost. He's, you know, deeply hurt because he got hurt Amber and all that going on. And I'm like, and this is it, y'all. That's that that is the episode. And I hate when love and hip hop do that shit. Like I hate when something gets so good, they cut the shit off. I hate when they do that, y'all. Don't y'all hate that when they do that? Oh my god, that pissed me off. So here comes Amber. Amber walks in and he's like, the therapist's like, I got your back. I got you. We're gonna work the shit together. Don't worry, I got it. And next episode, we see that he tells Amber that, listen, I'm in another relationship with another man. You can see Amber run outside calling for her mommy, mommy, mommy. I want my mommy. I want my mommy. Mommy, I want my mommy. Then he tells, and you can tell, this is the next episode, y'all. Next episode, he tells his mom that he, you know, he's gay. You know, and we know they're in another relationship with another man and and he's like, I've been loving guys since I was a young kid. And, you know, I was scared to tell everybody, blah, 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 blah. And and his mom's like, listen, so now you now you having sex with dudes now? Like, what? That's what you want? That's what you want for your life? This is what you want? And he and you can tell Miles is just hurt for telling his whole family, his whole friends, everybody that he's gay. You can tell that he's hurt. And y'all... Y'all, I was so crying. I was crying for Miles. I really was. I was crying for Miles. I was like tear getting teared up. And I'm like, oh my God, this is too much. This is too much. But it seemed like next episode going to be hella good. Okay. And y'all, they going to do um next week, I think, Love and Hip Hop, Out and Hip Hop. If you didn't see that, I think Out and Hip Hop means like they're discussing all the rappers coming out. All the rappers are gay. And they all on a panel discussing. I think Ray J was talking. I don't know who was talking. I think it was Ray J or Mario. I don't know who it was. But they were discussing, like, listen, we understand that these days you guys are like gay rappers. But what, like, you know, they, we're going to see what's going on with that next week. But I, I think I'm going to do that review. But are you guys going to check that out? Are you going to watch Love Me Hip Hop out in hip hop? Out, you know, in the gay hip-hop world, whatever. Are y'all guys gonna watch that? Y'all let me know down in the comments down below. Okay. Whew, that's the episode. Let's get into Black Ink, y'all. Season finale. Thank God. I think, okay, we can get that to the end. So, oh shit, you're dumb. You dumbass. You didn't get the the, the susceptomy. And you, Sky, I'm with Sky, y'all. Sky, I'll be pissed too. I did all this shit. I got all these damn strippers. I get I bought everybody and I spent all my goddamn money. I got this damn cake with this this dick on top of it and these bars cut off. And I did all this shit uh, I, I did all this shit for you. And for you for come in and say, Oh, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. I'd be fucking pissed too. I I whoop I'll be whooping your ass for real for real for real like you uh uh oh my god Sky kept it cool though he she's like listen you should have told me before I did all this shit you know I spent so much goddamn money and I I don't blame her I'm not blaming Sky for that y'all I'd be hella pissed and and, and you god I'd be steaming for the gods so I guess old shit had a sex tape fucking raw with his oh okay. So he, Caesar, you was fuck, you was fucked up for showing everybody that you shouldn't do shit like that. But okay, you know you just a fucked up dude. So Kathy gets all mad. She's storming out. She's screaming, yelling, and want to fight. I mean, oh my god, Kathy, you need to calm the fuck down, G girl. Calm down, okay? I need you to fucking calm down. Every time something happens, you want to pop off and fight somebody and and all this shit. And then next thing you know, her nose. It just bleed and bleed and bleed and bleed. And I'm like, girl, I need you to calm. I need you to take it to a zero, not take it all the way to a hundred because you're doing way too damn much. Okay. Way too damn much. Way. Why are you making 
I'm like, girl, have to get, go get somewhere, girl. Get somewhere. Girl, you're acting crazy every damn day, girl. I, I, oh, my God, I feel bad for that child. I mean, oh, Lord, Jesus, girl. Calm down. Okay, moving forward. I told you it's going to be a long ass video, y'all. Okay, so y'all bear with me. I'm almost done. So, Teddy is meeting with his dad. And see, you know, the last time he see his dad was 15 years ago, and that's a long goddamn time ago, okay? So, he's playing what happened to you, blah, 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 blah. And, y'all, Teddy got a whole goddamn lot of shoes. I His shoe, oh, my God, you should have, y'all saw his shoes, boxes, like, stacked up? Teddy, your, your shit look like a damn store, I, I'm just saying. Your shit look like a damn store. I feel like I want to come in and buy some shoes from you, I'm just saying. Anywho, so Teddy's meeting with his dad. He's trying to get some insta um, like trying to find out where have you been, why you have not been in my life, you know, when I really need you, and all that going on. His dad had to say, "Well, you didn't reach out to me, so I just did my own thing with my with my other kids, and I'm a I'm a I'm a fa I'm a grandfather now." Ted's dad, you fucked up. Okay, Teddy's dad is so fucked up. And Teddy is right. You got this shit uh, flipped around. No, 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 no. You should reach out to me. I should not be reaching out to you. You got me all the way fucked up. Okay? I sh you should be reaching out to me, not waiting for me that I reach out to you. No. 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 If you, if I didn't have now your number or anything, why should I reach out to you? And now you, you look like a dumbass sitting here not giving me any information, not if not giving me an excuse that why you haven't been in, in my life. Not haven't been in my life. The only thing you have been in my life was my birthday. You give me a gift, then you ran off another 15 years, and then you come back for my birthday and then run off. You know what I'm saying? So I feel bad for Teddy. For me, who his dad, because his dad was looking like Bebe the Fool and you ain't feeling no damn body. But, Teddy, I feel bad for you. Just be strong for me, my brother, and everything's going to be all right. Let your dad go. It's sad that you had to cut off your dad like that. But, Kelly in the air, he's fucked up, okay? His mind ain't, he ain't thinking. His, his mind's fucked up. I'm just saying that's fucked up to say. But, sometimes you always got to keep it real. You know what I'm saying? So, Tad, be strong. That's that's some fucked up shit. In who, last and not least, Dutch um, is, you know, Dutch is in North Carolina with her family and all that I'm going on. So, she got her first client, y'all. And she already got the shop. It's really big, y'all. It's really, it's really big. She don't got no windows. She don't got nothing in the, in, in the place. It used to be, they say it used to be a um, grocery store, but now she's going to turn into a tattoo shop. And it can be uh, 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 it can be a lot of things in that shop. Trust and believe it cannot. It can be, but it takes it will take a lot of work for the construction and all that going on. It takes a lot of money for all that. So Dutch just got her first client. I'm like, oh my god, you don't got the place right uh, up and running. You ain't even close to be done. I mean, you you just got like what you just got here yesterday. So he's like, I'm going to be your first client. I'm not into those celebrities up to New York. You know, like New York and all that going on. So that's Dutch's first client. I'm like, oh my God, he's, wow. But I'd be a little bit scared because I don't got the place done. I'd be looking like a, you know, I just got in the kind of line. I'm like, whoa, oh my God. Like, and she, But Dutch has got her stuff prepared. She got her inks and all that going on. I'm like, you better get your money, girl. You gotta get your money, okay? I'm proud of you. I'm rooting for Duchess. I don't like Duchess, but I'm rooting for her, okay? For her dreams, okay? We all, I know y'all don't like Duchess and all that, but I'm just rooting for her, you know? Okay. Couple of things. Um, Puma got his shop, tattoo shop going on. She He brings Quan and the kids and all them. And the daughter. He ain't got a couple. He got one. So, um... He surprised Quan, and Quan's like, really? Really? Cause to find out, she gonna stay in New York. She gonna move back to New York from Atlanta. I'm like, girl, okay, bye. So, they two are happy. I hope, um, um, home, I hope the shit works out for you. I hope this will make you happy. But if it don't, then I wish you luck, okay? Caesar, 
So he's just like, I want something new. I want something different. Uh, it's time for a change. And he's like, listen, I'm going to move to um, North Carolina. I'm going to help out with um, the Dutch with her shop going on because she needs my help. I need a change. Y'all going to be all right. You know, I'm going to close the um, shop in New York for a good while, but I might be back. I don't think that he's going to be back because, oh, child, that's a lot of work. That put was, hey, wait, it's three or four years to get that shop more than and, and, and all that going on. But good luck, um, Duchess and um, Caesar. And Tay's like, I'm not feeling it. Like, that's that's a bad move. So Tay's upset, y'all. He is upset. He's pissed. What are we going to do? We're not kids. And he, Caesar's like, listen, I'll be back. I'll be back. You know, I'll, I'll come back. And, and, you know, what? Three or four years? So he closed down the shop. It's it's it's, it's down for business. It's not out. It, it, wait. It's out for business. But it's not open. It's not, it's not going to be open for a good couple of years. So I think that's why we have Black Ink Chicago. I think Chicago will going to be better than um, Black Ink New York. Do y'all think so? Y'all drop that down below. Because I think I can tell that Black Ink Chicago is going to be some good ass shit for real. Okay? It seems like there's going to be some juicy stuff going on. Because I, I might be doing that review for you guys. So y'all let me know y'all going to um, watch Black Ink Chicago. And y'all... They gonna have um, Black Ink New York reunion, really? Like for real? I might do that review too. I don't know, but that's my review on uh, Love and Hip Hop and Black Ink. If I miss anything, please, 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 please let me know down in the comments down below. Please follow me on my social media, DJ's World One Hundred One. All my links and everything gonna be down below, so you can follow me. And um, please hit that thumbs up button. Please leave a comment. Please hit that subscribe button. And please share my videos. Till next video, guys. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Alright, guys. Bye.